your woman is very, very keen to stay on her micronized progesterone and has a BMI over 30, or possibly not for long if she's going to take a GLP-1 agonist, so she needs a transdermal estrogen, then there's various things you can do. And the BMS brought out some guidance on this earlier this year in April. So you can increase the progesterone proportionally, the oral progesterone dose, but they don't say by how much which is fair enough because there is no guidance. But it's very difficult in primary care when a guidance just says increase the dose and it doesn't say how much. So in our Primary Care Women's Health Society guidance, which I co-authored with three other board members who are menopause specialists, we looked at the BMS's previous guidance on unscheduled bleeding on HRT, where they do have a table which shows how you would increase a progesterone if a woman was taking a higher dose of estrogen. So we thought that maybe pragmatically using that same guidance, increasing by that amount would not be an unreasonable thing to do. But we were very clear that this is a data-free zone and it's really important to tell the woman that, to share all these uncertainties with her, to explain that to leave an intrauterine device would be by far the better 